Right, of course, uh, on your screen, those are the images from the Lee funeral home. You can see the casket carrying the remains of Dr. Joyce Laboso, the governor of Bomet County. have uh, already been loaded to the limousine that you'll be uh, transporting or taking the body to the All Saints Cathedral for that memorial service that is expected to begin in the next few minutes. Of course, um, uh, just to indicate what has been happening a few minutes ago is that um, uh, the family of the late uh, governor arrived here just a few minutes ago about 10, 10 or so, and as soon as they arrived, then things started moving. Um, the spouse of the governor, that is Dr. Uh, Edwin Abonio, uh, alongside uh, their three sons, um, made their way here to uh, the Lee Funeral Home, and of course, after a short session inside there, then they were able to uh, move the body. And uh, now, as you can see, the uh, friends and family, of course, the uh, committee that has been spearheading the funeral arrangements, are making their way to their car so that the movement, the procession uh, from here to All Saints Cathedral can begin. Uh, and of course, it is. Um, Of course, it is uh, uh, the start of the f uh, ultimate final journey uh, of the late governor, just to indicate that um, after this uh, funeral service at the Osens Cathedral, then the body will be flown to Sotik uh, for a vigil, and there will be a service tomorrow at uh, the Bomet Stadium. Uh, thereafter, that is on Saturday, there will be the final uh, burial uh, service that will be happening at Fort Tainan in uh, Kisumu County in readiness for the final uh, for the interment that will be happening on Saturday afternoon. So just to indicate that uh, Dr. Joyce Laboso died on the 29th of July, that was uh, Monday this week, after battling cancer uh, for what we are told uh, 28 years, uh, two different cancers uh, she had reportedly uh, healed uh, from the first one, uh, but um, uh, it came back in full force and um, uh, she's been battling it for quite some time until now uh, what she went through, the treatment she went through in the UK before moving to India and finally coming back to Kenya and had been hospitalized at the Nairobi, Nairobi Hospital uh, during which time she was in the ICU for about 10 days or so as they say and then after that um, of course uh, the situation happened that now we are talking about uh, uh, that uh, she passed on and this is the reason why this final journey is beginning here at the Lee Funeral Homes.